Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Danjo wrote in about my recording a pattern from the sequencer on the SP404 Mark II into the louver and said, why would you ever want to do this? And there's been a few responses with some information that people have added, and I don't know that it was convincing to him, but for me personally, the main reason I would probably want to do this is if I want to be able to time stretch or do some real-time time stretching that the looper does offer. Beyond that, it's kind of a little bit of a stretch. But the other thing that comes to mind is it, you may just want to be performing a pattern and doing some uh, effect changes live, and you want to bake that into a sample while you then go do some other things. And I think the looper is perfectly fine for doing that. But let me just show you. We'll go back to do this again. If we pick a pattern, yeah, I think this one's fun. So it's two bars. I saw that, and it's 96 BPM. I can hit mark. We'll go two bars. I already got 96 BPM. We hit record. It's going to sit here and wait for any kind of line level or other signal before it starts recording. I can hold shift. I just want to make sure routing's set to mix. It is. So it's going to mix whatever's coming from external, be it the OP1 or something else, and it will take the internal sounds as well. So as soon as I start hitting this, it's gonna start playing. And a thing we gotta keep in mind is it's gonna start phasing because it's gonna be playing the looper and the content here. So it is good to stop this. You probably wanna stop this pattern recording into the looper like really close to just after you've filled the buffer and moved over. But we now have this loop in the looper from the pattern and I can now do fun things like adjust the speed so if we were if I had a band and we were playing I can be playing this here and if I they happen to know I'm going to do this I can start slowing down maybe we transition to it we're trying to slow down drummer comes in starts playing something else stop the loop, delete it, keep playing. I can't talk <laughs> and do all this at the same time. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of a stretch for wanting to do this. I don't know how many musicians would do this live in practice, but I would say it's at least there. Um, it's an option. I appreciate that you like using the looper and resampling and things to work in, and you're not using the sequencer that much. But I would say like a key thing to think about is to come in and have that sound of the loop um, brought down and time stretched and be able to do those things live and in real time is going to be pretty hard to do if you have all of your content on a pattern here because you could potentially, you're either stuck having to down, adjust the BPM down and reduce the pitch of everything or move it up at the same time. And I don't think you're able to do that and get that kind of sound from a pattern. Now, if you're not using patterns, a lot of this doesn't uh, apply to you or make sense. But Danjo, I hope this at least was educational, if not useful for you. Everybody, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.